<laughs> All right, so let's start off with a car accident last Saturday. Yeah, I uh, went off the road and I hit a tree. Okay. So I um, popped up, hit my neck, got like whiplash pretty much. The airbag went off. Okay. So my neck's just been really tight on this side. Mm -hmm. Did you have neck tightness on that side or any side before that? No. No, okay. my hips are really, um, they're not lined up. So they pop all the time, constantly. Okay. So those are always in pain. Where does it pop? Does it pop like in here or like back here? Like the side here. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go back to the car accident. And your, since you had the car accident last week, have you had any pain that goes down your arms? No. Have you had numbness or tingling in your fingertips? No. Any headaches? Uh, I had a migraine for the first few days because I think I hit my head. Okay. Right here. Like on my, it's still sore, but. They went away after a few days. Were you black and blue? Uh, no, but the bruising, there's a little bit of bruising on my back. Okay. But it's not like painful or anything. It's just hasn't gone away yet because it was pretty bad. Okay. Um, all right, so did the did your face hit the airbag? Is that maybe no. what caused the migraine? I don't think so. All right, so with the migraine, did you have any uh, any memory loss? Any, no. Was no. it difficulty? Did you have I didn't a clear head this week? Yeah, okay. I didn't go unconscious or anything. It's just, um, Honestly, when I went off, I just was like watching the headlights, and then I just don't really remember like mm -hmm. exactly where I hit. I know I popped up out of the seat and hit the um, seatbelt buckle and the center console. Okay. That's why I have the bruising here. Okay. But I don't know what I hit my head on. I don't know if it was the airbag popped once I had hit, so I don't think I could have like hit on that side of my head. Gotcha. I have to wonder if it was either maybe like the seat. Like I hit my head on the seat or something. Okay. Maybe even the mirror. I don't think it was the airbag though. Okay. Because it's only right here mm -hmm. that hurt. Why did you veer off the road? Uh, Saturday night. Okay. So it's been about a, a week. No, no. Why did you oh, veer why? off the road? Yeah. Uh, I was like slippery on the road and oh, okay. I was going too fast and slid off. All right. So you totaled the car. Yeah. That was my first accident I've ever been in. Okay. So let's go back to the hip pain. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you had hip pain for? Um, for as long as I can remember. Okay. I was going to a chiropractor pretty regularly, like twice a week. And going helps, but I mean, my hip just re, I guess, comes on a line mm -hmm. so quickly that I was having to go like two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. So. Is it just the right hip? Uh, one of them sits higher than the other one. Okay. Both of them pop and crack, but I'd say the right one is worse. Um, have you ever had any pain that goes down your legs? No. No numbness or tingling in your feet? No. Okay, that's Unless good. Unless my shoes are too tight. <laughs> I run a lot, like exercise a lot. Okay. And any other sports? Some, I did cheerleading. Okay. And I did gymnastics, track, volleyball. But so it's not like, there's only a very few times it's actually painful to the point where like I could pass out. Okay. Like it's like a shooting pain. I like, I go to get it to crack and mm -hmm. it's just like pain. Okay. When's the last time it happened? February. Okay. I was in Texas uh -huh. and I was sitting on the toilet and I felt it needed to pop. So I like leaned into it because usually it'll like, it's relief, like it'll pop and mm -hmm. it'll feel better. But when I leaned, it was just shooting pain and it hurt so bad. I thought I was going to faint. All right. How fast were you going when you swerved off the road? Um, probably like 55. Oh. Yeah. And you hit a tree dead on, straight on? Um, I had hit my brakes. I had, there was probably like, well, it felt like forever, but it was probably like 10, 15 seconds of me hitting the brakes. I went off in between these two big trees. So lucky. There was a guardrail, a fence. I went off in between two trees. And I think once I was off the road, I'd already slowed down a bit because mm -hmm. I'd hit the brakes so hard. And then um, I stayed on the brakes and I had gone a little bit into the woods. So that gave me more time to slow down. Mm -hmm. And the tree that I winded up hitting was like a softer tree that was already broken. So the impact wasn't like, it was like starting to break. So the impact wasn't as bad, but the airbag did pop, like I said. But there were so many other trees that could have been way worse. And I was strapped in, so it could have been a lot worse. Okay, looking at the feet first, definitely have a little bit of that external rotation on both sides on the toe off. Yep, actually heel strike, mid stance, and toe off all have the outward angle of the foot, both sides. 
So is that external rotation of the hips? Is that possibly what is an issue with the hips? Some external rotation? We'll see. Okay, looking at the shoulders, we have a high left shoulder. Arm swing looks normal from left to right, but definitely a little bit of a lean to the right and a high left shoulder. Okay, looking at the hips, pretty even swing from left to right. Definitely more accentuated to the left. Good. So she's leaning to the right and then the hip swing moves out to the left. And then it's restricted on the right side as a result. Good. We'll check here for a curvature in a second. While you're standing, you're definitely leaning off to the right, putting more pressure on this right hip. Could be why your right hip hurts all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is all here before the accident. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just going to visualize the high left shoulder again here, top of the scapula, bottom of the scapula. Going to lean off to the right this way, more pressure on the right hip here. It's nice, gentle on the top. Okay, this is a temperature evaluation. This is just using the back of my hands. Pretty symmetrical throughout. My hands are also a little bit cold right now, so it doesn't, it doesn't work as well. I haven't acclimated to the room yet. Oh, okay, I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into the muscles. Terrible? Yeah, it's fine. What about this side? It's fine. Is this, is this the same? Is this the same as um, this? The right side's less tense, it feels like, for me. Terrible? Um, uncomfortable. <laughs> Not horrible, though. Musculature on the right side of the thoracic lumbar transition is more prominent. So this is just sticking out a little further on this side. Tell me, does this feel like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tender or tickles? Very tickles. <laughs> okay, let's check the scapula. Like, good movement there. Good movement there. That's okay. Okay, good motion of the scapula on top of the ribs. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Okay, so the, the hip is higher on the left. High mm -hmm. left hip, high left shoulder. Not quite as much movement. Let's pop it the SI joints. Is this tender here? A little bit, yeah. Is this tender here? Uh, a little bit. How about this one here? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Which one more, right or left? The right. The right is more tender, but the left one is, is the one that's not moving as much. So we'll see which one is actually stuck. And then the longer you sit here, the more I can see this curve starts to come out. You really want to dive into that right hip. And then your left shoulder's coming up. Just a little bit of a curvature. We're gonna say curvature, but not a scoliosis. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not 10 degrees. All right, let's do this. Bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Good, now right ear. You feel more restricted going this way? Yeah. Or this way? To uh, the left? This way. Okay. Yeah, so when we go to the left, there's not as much movement here. Let's see, you're, yeah, it's stuck. That's always been a really tight spot for me. Right at the bottom of your neck? Yeah. Like, 
top of my spine, bottom of my neck area. Mm -hmm. When I was going to the chiropractor, she couldn't always get that part to crack. Mm -hmm. And you feel it on this left side over here? Mm -hmm. More than the right side here? Yeah. There's definitely less movement at C7, C6, C5. So it's mostly coming from your neck, not your thoracic spine down here. This is all moving nicely. So like, what's the tenderness here? Sorry. What's the tenderness here versus tenderness here? Uh, the top one is way more tender. Okay. Okay, so primarily we're going to be looking for this left lower cervical. We'll see if that corresponds and gets to the right upper cervical. So you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so tracing up to the bottom of the glute fold here, we're lower on the right. That matches the high left hip. It means your right hip is possibly going backwards like this, mm -hmm. and your left hip is going forward like that. Good, and then looking from the top angle. It looked pretty even. So even though your feet were out, I think that's actually a foot thing and not your hips. Good march in place actually right now. So the right, the right foot wants to come out and still do that external rotation, but the left one doesn't want to do it as much on the march. But we don't see any evidence of the external internal rotation on the pelvis from the glute folds. So I think that's actually just an ankle or a knee issue, not coming from the hip, it doesn't look like. Right short, and then either stay short slightly and definitely move towards more equal when we bend. Do you have any pain in your hips, low back, when we do this? No. This is the SI joint. Okay, do you have any pain tenderness when I push here? Mm -mm. Do you have any t discomfort, pain tenderness here? No. Got an L5, any discomfort here? No. Here. No. How about this side? Any discomfort tension here? Uh, yeah, that one's tight. Tender? Yeah. Okay, a little trigger point on the left glute. Yeah, there too. Right. So are they equal? Left more. Left more. Very good. So we're looking at the sacrum right now. We're probably going to adjust both SI joints. Let's just test the lumbar one time. Okay, keeping your knee straight, lift this leg in the air. Go down. Left. Down. Right. Down. Left. Down. Okay, right lumbar is fine. One more time, right, down. Okay, a little bit of left lumbar showing up, left lumbar musculature not firing in the correct sequence. Tenderness, left SI joint. A little bit of restriction on the external rotation test and a trigger point on the left. So the right short stayed short, which means that's pointing to the left SI joint as the primary. Remember, this is a long term, so you've had this a long time. You've been leaning a long time. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Down, 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 down. Here, let me do the work, okay? Let me lift you up. Get down. Tender? Oh, a little bit. Tender? A little bit.
Alright. Nice, gentle breathing. I'm doing a little stretch. nice gentle breathing not pushing yet we're going to practice one first so you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth i'm going to follow your breath down and then when we get to the bottom we push okay nice and gentle breathing good and out let the shoulders sink in good we're going to follow one more breath do the same thing in and out Just but don't below that. Do the same thing. Deep breath in. Good and out. Let the back and shoulders relax and sink in as best you can. That's good stuff. Do another breath in. Good and out. Mm -hmm. She's actually pretty tight, huh? Okay, again, deep breath in. And now, sinking it, letting it all go good. Good, nice and relaxing. Now, let's take care of this guy here. Okay, so you're going to take a deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, following it down. Good. Good, gentle, gentle, gentle. Let's just make sure we got it. Good. Good. So you're going to take a deep breath in and then at the top of your breath, when you start to breathe out, that's when we push. Good, so we're going to do that breath again all the way and go as far as you can go. Gonna let your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Mm. Let's try it like this. Go ahead and pull your belly button up to your spine. Good. Okay, relax. Breathe. Get your shoulder up in this direction like this. I'm gonna bring your hips down. I'm gonna push your shoulders mm -hmm. and then bring your head back like this. Good. Okay, you're breathing. Good. 
Okay, you're gonna breathe in through your nose, cut in the out, and as you breathe out, good, gentle, bring this down, go let the hips relax, shoulders, good. Go, you're tight, just let it all go, let your whole back go, let your shoulders relax, good. Good, one more breath in, and out. Good. Lay your back. Good. good. Good, letting that go, let your shoulders relax, let your hips relax. Good, there, that's perfect, just like that stuff. We're gonna bring it down a little bit more, shoulders back a little bit more. Good. Lay your back. All right, let's try this. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Okay, that made it more different. Now turn your head to the left. Back to center. That evened it out. So we're looking at the upper cervical on the right. Let's do this now. Left ear down to left shoulder. Good, and now it's perfectly even. There's no tension. That's good. That's the main adjustment. Go back to center. And let's, I already know that this is not gonna be. Let's just verify it though. Bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Good. Back to center. And back. <clears throat> okay, nice and gentle. We'll do this right side first. Sinking in, shoulders relax, letting this go. Good. That felt really good. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. This is the one that you came here for. <laughs> nice and gentle, sinking. Good, we're gonna bring this over like this. Okay, we're gonna bring this one a little bit more because you're flexible. Good. Okay, so you're sinking, breathing. Let me test and see exactly which segment. Okay. Seven, six, five, four. A little bit of a muscle twitch there. Five and four. Okay, nice and gentle sinking. Good, we're gonna bring this down right here. Very good stuff. This felt really good. So first we start with the ileocecal valve. This is where the large intestine passes into the small intestine. Okay. Mm -hmm. We locate that by first finding the belly button here is here, and the ASIS, the front of the hip here, connecting these two points. There's breakfast. Big breakfast? I had a piece of bread. 
This is dinner then. How's your digestion usually? Bad. Slow? Yeah. But my metabolism, I don't know where it goes. Mm hmm I've always had really messed up digestion. Okay. Nice, gentle breathing. Try some belly breaths, okay? Like, breathe into your belly. Good. And then out. Go do that again. Into your belly. Out. Good. In. Out. So just by changing the way that you breathe, you increase gastric motility. Like, it helps change the, changing the pressure in your gut will help stimulate that digestive process. Okay. Yeah, because I eat dinner around like five. Gotcha. Okay, keep breathing into your belly. Good. No, no, fill your belly with air. Like push your belly all the way out. Yeah. And out. Good, again, in. Out. Good, in. Out. In. Into your belly. Out. Belly. Out. Again. Into your belly. Fill your belly. Good. Again. Okay, I'm going to do the pyloric sphincter now. This is two inches above the belly button. This is where the stomach empties into the duodenum. Good, this is clear. There's nothing there now. That's good. Okay, a couple more deep belly breath. Out. Go into your belly. Out. Go into your belly. Out. Go into your belly. And out. This where like you found your hip here, like your hip bone, belly button, right? And then you just connect these two points like that. Like this is where you start to look for it here. Just two fingers, some circles. Is it tender? Mm -hmm. No, it's a little hard. It is hard, right? But not tender. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. We have more to talk about with this. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get there. Okay, I'm going to use this towel to support your neck. You're okay with this, like that? Okay, we're going to hold it like this. All right, so just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath. As you breathe out, we're going to go this way, and at the end we pull, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can close your eyes, nothing to look at. And then you go take a deep breath in and out. Good, following that out step. We're going to do it at the next end of the next breath in. Out. Good. This time, breathe through your nose. Keep your teeth together. Mm-hmm. Good, relax. <laughs> I've never had that done. <laughs> that was huge. Did you feel it in your low back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the way down. So much better. Mm -hmm. Before there was always like a tightness in like my upper back mm -hmm. that I feel like normal like cracking didn't get. Right. But the full spinal feels like it got everything.
Thank you. It was great already. Mm -hmm. yeah. more.